uh, in Frankfurt Blockupy, what's the situation? The situation is great. Okay, why? Because the city is still blocked. Because nobody can go in, nobody can go out. The big finance institutes, the banks, they all give the people free to go out, not to work today. Today is holiday, but to also tomorrow. And they forbid everything. This is a problem, of course. But it shows that we are in the heart of the power. And it was good to come here. And they have this special situation where all the civil rights were banned. And so we are here at the university, at the old campus, and the plan today is to fight for the right to gather together to make an assembly, to make a crowd in the center of the town. It's an old historical place where the first democratic assembly of Germany took place in 1848. And then there we, we will try to make an assemblea and we want to stay there and we want to build up tents and some musicians will come and speakers will come and we will try to go there, to stay there and then we have to decide what will be the next step in the night and in the question of the blockades tomorrow on Friday. And we have a victory because of this huge political mobilization. We have many voices from the civil society, from liberal peace, people also from the Green Party, from the Social Democratic Party. The demonstration on Saturday will take place. This is absolutely sure. So if anybody in Europe is thinking about coming, come Saturday to Frankfurt at 12 o'clock, we will have a huge demonstration against the ban politics of the last days of today, of tomorrow, and against the politics of the Euro Troika. Okay, so basically everything was banned, yes. except the Saturday's demonstration. Yes. So do you think it's going to be possible for, ev for people from all around Europe to converge and also to do actions and to plan for the future? How to work together in the future? Yes, yes, yes. This is also a point. We will have a big assembly, if it's possible, on Saturday morning with all the European comrades and friends who came from Ljubljana, from Italy, from Spain, from Greece, to bring us together and to talk about the next steps. Because one thing, whatever will be today and tomorrow and on the demonstration is quite sure, we put our fingers or our fists in the right place. They are totally scared of everything here and we have some voices from the government. They are not only in fear what will be in the next days, but they are also in fear that we might come back. So this means if we want to have a successful protest against this politic of Troika and all the things and the destruction of Southern Europe, we have to go inside of the power. We have to be there and we have to do more than a manifestation, a demonstration or a leaflet. We have to block them and we have to go really inside and near to them. This is, I think, the message of this day, is whatever will be today and tomorrow. So this is basically the first time we are in Frankfurt, the next time will be many more. Many more and it was until now and it's just beginning because yesterday was only the day before the beginning. And we are now beginning Blockupy. It, it is the most successful action against the uh, social injustice and the politic of Troika since five years in, in Germany. It's blocked. Frankfurt is closed and the, and the banks are empty. It's good. And now the only point we have to do, we have to bring the multitude to the places and to fill up the places with subjectivity, with our people. So, um, okay, the official uh, official politics is clear now, yeah. the city of Frankfurt banned everything, yeah. the police is banning, but we saw a lot of signs of solidarity, for yes. example yesterday when we came from the citizens of uh, Frankfurt. Yes. So how would you uh, assess the support among the people in Frankfurt? Yeah. Uh, to explain this, you have to know something about the official character of the policy and the politics in Frankfurt. The picture Frankfurt always try to paint is we are the center of the capital, we are the center of the finance sector of Germany or Europe, we have the European Central Bank, but we have also a spirit of liberal, multicolor people who can stay here, you can join the bankers sitting in the, in the parks and it's an open city. But now this play or this uh, image is over. And so many, many people are really scared and they're really astonished about what this mayor 
did. Because nobody expected it, that they ban everything, that they try to ban the judgment of the court who said to us, you can make the demonstration. They went to the next higher court and also wanted to forbid the demonstration again. They lost. We won. Okay. But this shows that they are totally out of control and this is... Um, the people don't know what this means. And we have some people here, professors from the university, who are experts in, uh, in these questions, and they say this is really strange that the highest court in Germany reject the question to talk about the squares of Blockupy, which are banned. So I think beside the political thing, beside the situation in the town, there will be something in the aftermath. And this is good. Okay. Okay, thank you.